Hey guys, it's Joe for PocketNow.com, and this is a viewer request episode. You see, we've had actually a couple viewers say, hey, you've talked about Evernote in the past. Now, Evernote, looks like that, is an app that lets you take notes and sync them with the cloud. So in this episode, we'd like to show you a little bit about what Evernote is, what it does, and get into uh, how I use it and how it might help you in your life. Let's go take a look. All right, so normally this is the part where I would start showing you the application in use. But before I do that, I've got to explain to some of you guys who don't know what Evernote is, well, what Evernote is. So if you already know what Evernote is and already use it, then go ahead and skip this part and jump right over to the app. No problem, I won't be offended. Go ahead and do that. For the rest of you guys, Evernote is a web app. It's also got desktop and mobile clients. Kind of like Gmail, but for notes. Now, Gmail is free, but it's ad-based. Evernote has kind of a different platform. It's, it's got a different philosophy of how to do it, and they call it freemium. I know it sounds weird, it's their word and not mine. But what they do is they have a free version or a free level of service, and then a premium version or a premium level of service. And the apps are really all the same. The level of service is what differentiates it, and it's really how much data that you sync to the web that determines whether you're on the free or the premium plan. So it's really kind of nice. If you want to try it out, go ahead and try it. It's not going to cost you any money until you decide to pay for it. So they're not going to automatically start charging your credit card. They'll let you know, hey, you've exceeded your free allocation and it's going to start costing you money. Uh, so here, give us your credit card money if you want to do that or scale back to use. They'll let you know they're really good. I haven't hit that cap yet. I don't use it a lot, but I do use it, you know, quite a bit. So a little bit more detail. It's a web app, so you have to be able to sync to the cloud to be able to get the full use out of this. Now, early versions of the app, you also had to have an internet connection so that you could basically use it because everything was downloaded from the web and uploaded to the web. It was all right there on the web, not on your device. The new version, which a couple of you saw, and that's why I'm doing this video, that version has a local store that will basically queue up anything that it needs to send to the web, and it won't worry about not being able to synchronize your notes from the web if you're offline, if you're unavailable to get out, if you're only on cellular data and you don't want to use you know, any of your megabytes or whatnot for, uh, for running Evernote. So this version, they've thought it out really, really well. And it is the Android version. I can't speak to any other versions. Uh, honestly, I don't know. They have uh, an app for iPhone. They have an app for Windows Mobile. I don't think they have one for Windows Phone 7 yet. If they do, make sure you let us know that in the comments down below so we can get one of our Windows 7 guys, Windows Phone 7 guys, working on it. Now, on the desktop side, they do have apps, desktop apps, for both Windows and for uh, the iOS, or for the Mac OS, uh, whatever, they're Apple, who cares? Just kidding, guys, don't flame me, okay? Basically, what you can do is, if you're on your desktop, you can take a note. You write your note, you save it, and it's there. You can then have access to that on your mobile phone, or on a, uh, a browser, on you know a friend's computer, or whatever, and it synchronizes all of this on the web, and it's just beautiful. Everything works the way it's supposed to. You can take web snippets so that you can remember web pages, kind of like a bookmark, but in your own Evernote book. You see that? It's a forever note. Little play on words they did there. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Funny or not, you decide. But what it'll do then is it'll keep all of this for you all together forever and ever so that you can have access to it whenever you want and whenever you need. And they really want you to... Uh, to get addicted to this. So if you want to have the, the playground drug dealer metaphor, you know, that's great. The first one's free, and once you get hooked, then it's going to cost you. That's their model. Like it or not, that's what it is. So there's your background. There's your history on what Evernote is and what Evernote does. One last thing before we get into hands-on. Evernote is not just text notes. It's spoken notes. It's pictures. It's web snippets. It's uh, it's actually handwritten notes. It's all kinds of stuff, and it's really cool. It also does you know, handwriting recognition on their servers. It does text recognition. If you want to take a picture of a business card, it'll recognize that text 
on their servers and then allow you to search for that on your mobile device. It'll actually let you search for what the content is on, in the picture of that business card or that picture of that uh, advertisement in a magazine uh, or that hand scribbled note that you wrote down. It's going to do all of that text recognition in the background, turn it into text that you can actually search on. So really, really kind of cool. Uh, Microsoft's trying to do something like that with their OneNote application. It's quite a bit different, and there's not a OneNote Android app, so, uh, you know, I don't know why I'm even mentioning it. But that's the intro. All you guys who fast-forwarded through it can now get back to the practical hands-on, so let's all go take a look at that. Okay, so after that long intro, we're going to keep this hands-on practical relatively short, all right? First and foremost, you've got different types of things that you can do. You can add a new note, or you can add a new snapshot. There's a little divider line right here separating it out from all notes, all of your tags, your notebooks, and the ability to search. You can also go into your menu and synchronize with your online notebook. Now it's going to do that automatically in the background if you tell it to in the settings which is over here. Here's where you can upgrade to premium if you want. Gives you more notebooks, uh, increased quota, more fun stuff like that. It, you can also select what notebooks you want to synchronize and keep offline. Right now I have none and it says in order to do that I've got to have a premium subscription to it. So I'm not buying the app. The app itself is free. It's the service that I'd be paying for. Upload notifications here. I am going to be uh, notified up here in my status bar of uh, basically the, the upload status. So I'm going to write a note. It's going to be local to the device and it will let me know up in the status bar when that's been synchronized to the cloud. So kind of nice there. I can clear history, clear cache, send a log of information to Evernote in case something went wrong. Uh, it's got my current version. I can check for updates. Here's where I can save on my uh, my data use, if I don't have an unlimited data plan, I can choose to sync over Wi-Fi only. I can choose to sync my data when the device powers up. I think that's a good idea, so we'll do that. It's going to sync automatically every, you know, every day is good, so I'm going to uncheck the power up thing. Use GPS, so it's going to geotag my notes, which is nice. I can look for all of my notes when I was at uh, Mix in Las Vegas or when I was at N MWC um, because it's all geotagged. And then if I want to use my network, which could have monetary costs, I can choose that or unchoose that. So there's settings. Of course, I can log out if I want to uh, using the sign out button as well. Back here, down at the bottom, I've got my last sync. It says it last synced 10 minutes ago. So fabulous, great, good job. Tags. Tags are just like you'd expect them to be. They are... Um, keywords that you can use to identify your notes. So here you can see I've got some stuff tagged Android, I've got some stuff tagged bus, uh, Assault, ALK, uh, those are the Copilot Live people, uh, activation stuff, Android, Cemetery, just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I can come through here and do all kinds of cool things. I can sort it by note, by title, by whatever. And you can see I've got little uh, little counters, little indicators to let me know how many notes have that. Here's my hit and run notes, uh, which was actually one of my very first Android uh, articles for pocketnow.com. So make sure you go back in the history and, uh, and check that article out. I can also look up my notebooks. So I've got notebooks for church, for contacts, geeky stuff, Michael, that's my son, Lifetime, unfiled of course and that's where I got most of my stuff I didn't do better with filing in notebooks uh, my wife's phone yada 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 basic stuff there and you could have notebooks now I've just associated notebooks with generalities because the free version doesn't let you do an awful lot of uh, of notebooks so it's very very limited in that aspect but you can repurpose that to uh, to have different areas or different aspects of your life instead of uh, very granular notebooks about specific stuff. Like at Pocket Now, I could have a notebook all about the T-Mobile G2. I could have a notebook all about the uh, the HTC uh, Desire HD, and have all my stuff, my photos, my articles, uh, videos, any notes that I had, any websites that I want to refer to, all in that notebook. And what goes in notebooks? Well, notes do. And here's a list of all of my notes, which. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Instead of showing you that, let's go into New Note. Now, in this New Note, you can give it a title. So we're going to do this, and I showed you the, the voice features before. New Note. 
and it didn't hear me. New, <laughs> new note. Okay, it's not like in text or voice today. So we're just going to call it, uh, what do you guys want to call it? Pocket Now. N O W. Okay, great. And now we could write some content, and my title just moved up off the screen automatically for me. Now, I can either do an attachment, I can attach something to it, a picture, audio, video, or just a regular file. I can uh, come over here and add some tags. We'll skip that. I can tell it what notebook I want it to go into. And I can take a picture with the camera, which takes a minute. So there's my hand if we want to take a picture with my hand. Do you like that? Kind of creepy, isn't it? We'll cancel that. And then, of course, we've got the microphone. Using the microphone, you can actually have a uh, recorded, a voice recorded note. And on this ROM, I'm having a little bit of problem with, uh, with microphone stuff, with spoken stuff, as you could tell, and with the camera. That's not an Evernote thing. That's a ROM thing, a custom ROM. Um, it's a bug. So just don't be worried about that. But now you can see I've got this little player icon, so I can actually tap that and either remove it, view it, or go back. Um, just, just a nice audio note, and it's included right there. I can even have a text note to go along with that. So all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, I'm relatively impressed with this app, and I think that if you do not have a note-taking app that you use regularly, this is it. The one thing that it doesn't have that I would really like it to is... Uh, you know, to have a to-do list, a, basically a daily task list where I could have on this view maybe a to-do or a goals or a whatever so that I can check stuff off when they're completed, I can assign deadlines and whatnot to it. That's not really the intent of Evernote, but when I'm thinking about to-do lists and notes, they kind of go hand in hand. I don't know, what are your thoughts? Then again, what uh, what apps are out there that do the to-do stuff, like I've just mentioned, that you use? What other note-taking apps are out there that you use uh, instead of Evernote? Of course, I want to know that. Go ahead and leave us comments down in the bottom, uh, especially if you can give us videos of your favorite note-taking app in action. That would be amazingly awesome, uh, and all of our viewers would love to see that. So... We've come to the end of it. It's a very basic program with lots of cool stuff that you can do with it. I highly recommend it. Like I said, the app is free in the Android market. The service is free up to a point with certain more cool and more powerful features available at a very, very affordable price. Uh, so don't be shied away from the premium end of things. I like it quite a bit. If you like this kind of video and want to see more uh, reviews and hands-on of specific apps, let us know down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up so we know you like this kind of stuff just in general. Subscribe to our video channel if you haven't done so already so you can make sure that all that stuff that you know everyone else is commenting about that they want to see, yeah, that you don't miss out on that. And of course head over to pocketnow.com to read more of our Android and other smartphone related articles. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.